In 1911, at just seven years old, Hilary Page showed a gift for making toys. So evident was the gift that his father presented him with two tons of wood for his birthday. Now, with so much wood at his disposal, there was no holding back this precocious toy maker. In 1929, aged 25, Hilary Page married his first wife, Nora. With the arrival of daughter Jill, there became yet one more reason to create his beloved wooden toys. By 1932, he was ready to market his own range of wooden toys under the name of Kiddiecraft. His belief was that toys should educate children into developing their early cognitive skills. It was this belief that made Hilary Page such an innovator and pioneer of the 20th century toy industry. This led him in 1938 to publish his first book, Playtime in the First Five Years. This groundbreaking book was to be followed by several others. It was during this early period that he discovered plastic. He realized its huge potential, but his business partners, competitors and contemporaries were not convinced. He alone realized the hygienic and special qualities that plastic could bring to the toy world. In 1937, he virtually single-handedly launched his Briplax range of sensible plastic toys. It was only when these innovative toys became a success did the ridicule and doubt cease. But it was not before Kiddiecraft had already gone bankrupt. The roles of creator, producer, importer and retailer proved to be too much for one man. However, by 1939, he had rebuilt enough toys to begin again. The war halted everything. Production ceased and Hilary Page packed up and toured America to promote the UK war effort and to lecture and broadcast his thoughts on children in wartime. With the war in its final years and now into his second marriage, he returned to the UK. With this marriage came the adoption of two twin girls, Geraldine and Vivian, two more reasons to continue to invent and develop his beloved toys. Between 1939 and until his tragic death in 1957, he patented over 30 designs for toys, one of which was destined to arguably become the greatest toy of all time. The war now over, Kiddiecraft emerged once again, but this time with plastic educational toys. Many of those toys, like the stack of building beakers, are fondly remembered by generations. They are true classics of the toy world. But despite his unsung achievements, Hilary Page's greatest legacy begins with a patent he obtained in 1947, the self-locking building brick. The patent was for the UK only. It was to prove to be a huge mistake. His injection molders, eager to expand their business into Europe, gave two Danish men samples of Hilary Page's building blocks. Immediately they saw the blocks, they realized their enormous potential. Soon after, Lego was born, and the rest, as they say, is history. Until now, Hilary Page has remained one of the unsung creative giants of the toy industry. All too often he was accused of never realizing his creation's true potential. But like all great creations, everything starts with an inspirational idea. Hilary Page was a truly inspirational ideas man. We can only guess what ideas were still in the imagination of Hilary Page. A bankruptcy, the scars of the early ridicule and doubt, and the strains of being inventor, producer, retailer and distributor took their toll. One day in 1957, Hilary Page took his own life. But he left a legacy that will perhaps never be equaled. Few are left who knew or knew of Hilary Page, but those who do pay tribute to his remarkable gifts. Over the years, I've collected classic preschool playthings. As the collection grew, one name kept appearing. Hilary Page and his sensible toys from the 30s, 40s and 50s, like those you see around me. Searching the web brought forth little information about Page or Kiddiecraft, and very soon an interest in him became an obsession to find out more. This was a man that had started making wooden toys, innovated the use of plastic in toy production, invented and patented building beakers, the posting box and the interlocking building brick. He wrote books on play, plastic technology, 
he ran a toy company and yet still found time to spend in schools and nurseries for product development research. As a collector, my thanks go to all those who've helped put together the historical puzzle that is Page and Kiddiecraft, and to the BTHA who've chosen to honour his achievements in this, the 50th anniversary of his death. Hilary Page's contribution to the toy industry was tremendous because, in fact, he created the segment of the industry which is the only remaining of the toy industry of today. One of his uh, most outstanding ideas was, number one, the idea of uh, using all these vivid colors for his toys, putting them in sequence in such a way that they would really look attractive to the child. At the same time, it would teach the child a little older the name of the color. Uh, but his major contribution, in my opinion, is a building brick, which was really a tremendous invention, and uh, which has since then had been copied all over the world and has become one of the most popular toys in the world. Hilary Page certainly deserves this uh, award or, because his lifetime achievement to all the children of the world is tremendous. Yes.